Today we're taking a look at the new optic from Trijicon, the RMR HD. Trijicon just released two brand new optics, the RMR HD and the RCR. This is a fully enclosed optic and this is much more similar to your RMR. This is the one that we're gonna be reviewing or going over today because this isn't a review, uh, which we'll cover in a second. Uh, but this one, I have a video on as well. If you're interested, you can click here after this video to check this optic out as well. Both of these optics are very impressive, have a lot of new features, and I think are gonna be a very popular optic, especially for those that are looking for a purpose-driven or for long enforcement military, I think these are going to be a really popular option. So let's go over the RMR HD and discuss all of its uh, features. This is not a full review because I have not had this optic for at least a minimum of a thousand rounds yet. The full review will be coming as soon as I do get that and I get a better idea. This is just my first looks video giving you guys an overview of all the features about the optic so you guys can make a better decision if you would like one or pass on it before the full review comes out. I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Gunspot. They are an online auction website that you guys can buy, trade, sell um, items, things, products, accessories, ammo. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you a ton, I can't link much uh, or say a ton, uh, which is unfortunate because I'd really like to tell you guys more about it, but I recommend going to their website and taking a look for yourself. There are no hidden fees, there's no out-of-state taxes. What you see is what you're gonna pay. There are some really unique things on there as well. So again, I recommend heading over to Gunspot, taking a look at their website and seeing if there's anything you want. You can also be a buyer or a seller, depending on what you wanna do. You can just go there and buy things, or you can also sell some of your own stuff and trade and get some more items to add to your collection. Uh, and you can get them all all over the country. So once again, thank you to Gunspot for supporting the channel. Definitely take a look at their website and see if there's anything there that might interest you. Let's go over my relationship with Trijicon. They did send me this and the RCR pre-release to do testing on, so I did not spend my own money on this. So this shares the footprint with the RMR, so you do not have to worry about getting this milled uh, differently. Anything that you have your RMRs on, you can just take that off and replace it with this, or uh, if you have another gun with the optics cut of an RMR, you can throw this on. So that footprint is the exact same. So this shares a lot of design features like this rounded out or uh, oval shaped uh, top part here to be able to disperse any kind of energy if you drop this and be able to protect the glass. I compared this with an RMR and the window size look very similar. If not, this one's a little bit bigger, but it feels much bigger because of the way it's designed. So as you can tell, this one is raised up here. The normal RMR has the glass kind of in line with the base. This one has the glass above the base. So when you're looking down it, you see more of the glass opposed to the RMR where some of it might be blocked or it feels a little less large. This one feels like it has a very large field of view, which is nice because you obviously want some kind of benefit when you're going with a little bit larger of an optic, which this is. So first let's go over the reticle on this new red dot. So this has a multiple reticle option. You have a one MOA dot or a 3.25 MOA dot, and then you have the option to have a 55 uh, MOA circle around that dot. And I think that is a nice addition. Uh, if you can add it, I don't see why you don't because then you can just remove it by taking these 55 MOA circle around it. Or if you just don't want the 55 circle around it, just get the one with the, just the dot. Uh, so I like the fact that they're now giving you more options for your reticles because I personally like the circle dots. I think it's more relaxing to your eye. I think it's, when shooting, I find it to be a little bit easier to find that dot when you have that 55 MOA circle around it to be able to find where that dot went when you're shooting. Or if you're newer to red dots, it's just a little bit easier to use use. Another cool feature with the reticle is you can change the contrast so you can make the dot a little bit less bright or make the 55 MOA circle a little less bright. So you can kind of play with it and make it a little bit more personal to you and what you like and mess around with the contrast of the dot. So you've probably noticed that this little circle right here and are wondering what is that? So that is a sensor up front and uh, where that comes into play is when you are aiming at a object this sensor changes your reticle brightness based off the brightness of what you're aiming at. If you are somebody that has a flashlight on their handgun like we have here, and you're in a dark area, your brightness will be fairly low or it will be a really starburst, it'll be super bright. So if you turn that flashlight on, what you're looking at is now gonna be really bright and it's gonna wash out your reticle. What's cool about this sensor is it automatically senses or picks up that brightness and then it kicks your brightness up automatically without you having to touch anything. So if you are going in to a room from a dark area, say you're going from uh, a, a bedroom into a closet and you turn that flashlight on to look into that, that closet, your brightness turns up higher so it does not wash out. So you will always have your reticle on and 
it actually changes fairly quickly. I'll show you guys a bunch of B-roll here of this changing in different uh, situations and areas. I've even gone up the wall from a lower part of the wall up to the higher part of the wall and it changed three times. So it goes from that low, medium to high. So it's really cool to see this thing change and working and actually sensing. It's not like you put it at a bright area and you're waiting and then it's kind of thinking and then it changes. It's fairly quick to change from the brightness to the dimmer. Now the same thing goes to if you're on a bright room and your reticle's high and you are aiming into a dark room. It then turns down. So it's really neat to see this sensor work and play around with it going through room to room and clearing things. I think that's going to be a really big benefit for your concealed carry guys along with your law enforcement and military. A lot of you I'm sure have ran into this problem where you're like I just don't know where to set my settings at because we will draw and then if you turn your light you lose your reticle or it's too bright and you're like oh my goodness that's a giant burst of uh, red dot in my face. With this you're not going to have that problem. So I'll be really curious to see how that continues to work over the testing and the continued use. I did use this uh, fairly heavy in the rain and it did not have any problems with the sensor it didn't throw anything off or make it go brighter or start freaking out at sensors uh, so I was kind of curious about that what inclement weather would do to it so far in the experience I have I was only out for about an hour with it in the bad weather but it was a really bad storm uh, as you guys can tell from the video I was soaked uh, but it did not have any kind of problems with the sensor this has nine brightness settings three of those are night vision and one is the new super bright feature uh, that they have so what is it it's a very super bright red dot. It's just if you're in a really bright area or you're looking into a light or or you have your flashlight on, it's supposed to have a brighter uh, option to be able to turn it up a little bit higher. Obviously, your battery life is going to drain uh, significantly more using a super bright feature, um, but this still boasts a three-year battery on that medium setting, and it actually has a top-loading battery tray, which is really nice uh, for those of you that have older RMRs. You know that it's on the bottom, so you have to remove your optic, change the battery out, put it back on, and then recheck your zero. Uh, it's just a simple thing to change that makes it a lot more convenient. It's a CR2032, so a very common battery, and it should be very easy to change with that. Your buttons on the side are very large, as you can tell, and very easy to click. Nice and tactile feel to them, and they feel nice and durable. Uh, again, during the full review, I'll be able to update you guys what I think about that, how they've been actually lasting. So you have a little notch right here on the top, and most people are gonna be like, well, maybe it's just an aesthetic thing, it kind of looks cool. What that is, is it's, a, it's an indexing point uh, for you to be able to bring up and, and be able to see where uh, you're kind of going to align it. It's called an index ridge alignment aid. Um, I really don't know how much it works. Is it gimmicky? Maybe. I'll let you guys know in the full review after I've been able to shoot a lot more with it. Uh, I mean, I get the idea of it. So if you're kind of maybe in a, a uh, I don't know, at a standstill position where you're you're not holding because if you're holding, you're on the person. But if, if you're more in a standstill position or you're a, a high ready or a low ready uh, and you're going to go bring it up, I can see how that can help, I guess, kind of point you in the way. I think the, the muzzle, I guess, in my head is what I would use to index. But uh, I guess it doesn't hurt to throw another point in there. It's not like it's adding a ton of weight or, or hurting the durability of the optic to throw it on there. So sure, if that's something that uh, is going to assist you. There you go, but I just want to mention it because it's something that was in the actual uh, pamphlet for the new features of this as an index point. So uh, you have that to be able to make your aiming uh, 3.7 times quicker and you will be eight times more accurate. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, those things are not true, but uh, it is an index point that they added onto the optic. Durability wise, I'm not gonna be able to really tell you a ton because it's a brand new optic without doing any kind of durability test or just the test of time. But what I can say is it's a Trigicon optic. It's it's based off of the RMR, which is a, probably one of the most durable uh, optics on the market, kind of set the, the tone for optics and how durable they should be. Uh, so I really don't see any problems with this one. The only difference is, is the optic kind of sits up and out a little bit more, maybe a little bit larger. So potentially less durable. I don't know. I'm not saying that it is. I'm not saying it's not, uh, but that will be the test of time. So we'll, we'll address that again in the full review but in my experience with Trigicon and their products uh, durability is kind of one of their strong suits so I say that this is probably going to be in that same ballpark but I'll continue to, to update you guys if I have any kind of problems with that but now the next big question I know a lot of you are going to ask about this does this fit all the holsters that the RMR does because it shares so many features with it. And unfortunately, in my experience, the answer is no. Um, I'm not saying that all holsters are that way, just the ones I've used. So your Kydex holsters that have a cutout for your optic, this fits just fine. I have no problems with those. I've been able to use all my Kydex holsters with no issue. I have a Safari Land holster here that has the optics cover to accommodate a red dot and my RMR fits just fine in this holster. But with this one, it does not lock in, unfortunately. 
so it is able to come out, which is not gonna be good for uh, duty use if your optic doesn't lock in. Uh, the problem being is the fact that the, the new RMR HD sticks out a little bit farther. So your normal RMR ends about right here. This one is a little bit more forward, so it's not able to lock fully into that holster. Now, what I will say is your RCR, where it's a little bit more of the same style or size as your RMR, this one does lock into these holsters. So you're gonna have that lock up. And me personally, the holsters that I have tested this with, I have found that the RCR does fit in the same holsters that the RMR does. So I'm not saying all of them don't work because there are multiple other holsters out there that I have not personally tried. But what I will say is the ones that I have don't work. So you'll wanna do a little bit more research or check it in on that uh, before you go buy this thing. You know, it's gonna fit everything that I already have. So I'm really happy about these two new optics. Uh, Trigicon makes a fantastic red dot and fantastic products. And I've been really looking forward to them expanding on the armor. I knew they were gonna do it enclosed eventually. Uh, so I was really happy to see that they finally made this one. The only thing that I'm a little worried about is the lockup on this. So this also shares the RMR footprint. So uh, I definitely recommend watching the full video on this, but the lockup is much, much different because being enclosed, you can't just screw down. You have to screw from the side. Like most of the enclosed optics kind of have like a pick, pick a tinny style like clamping system and they, they screw from the side, kind of like your flashlights like where it goes from the side. Uh, but this one actually used two screws that go down. So it's very different, very unique, has its benefits, but it also has some downsides. So definitely take a look at that video, uh, but I'll be interested to see how that works in the future here, but really happy to see that Trigicon has come out with these two optics and I'm excited to test them further to see how they work. Again, I've got high expectations, high standards for these because it's Trigicon, so I really expect them to be really good optics and uh, become something that I personally trust to use for concealed carry or duty use. Uh, but for right now, we're still in the early stages of that. So we will see what we come up with and what we find out. What I want you guys to do is put in the comments of what you would like to see in the full review. If you guys would like a certain test done, would you like a certain question answered? Please let me know in the comments and I will make sure to take care of that. Uh, if I don't know, I will find out somebody that does know. I'll contact Trigicon. I'll get that information. I'll put that in the full review for you because I want that video to be as informative as possible with being a new optic. It's so hard to say, uh, yes, this is the best optic. Yes, I recommend it because I just don't have enough time with it yet. It's brand new. So uh, only the test of time and some durability tests are gonna be able to tell us how this optic does. So I hope this video was able to help you make a better decision if this is something you wanna purchase or maybe you wanna wait until the full review to see how it does over the course of testing that I've done. What I will say is the full review will probably come pretty quickly uh, because I've been putting a lot of rounds through these uh, just cause I really think these are pretty cool and I want to see how they do. Uh, so I wanna get a full review as soon as possible to you guys. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you guys wanna help the channel, things I do here, there's a couple ways to do that down in the description. There are some discount codes from companies that I personally trust that you can use to save some money. And there's a link to my link tree from there. You can use uh, links like Premier Body Armor, Brownells, Air Decision. Anything you purchase using those links does help out the channel a ton. I really appreciate the support. If not, I just appreciate you guys liking, sharing, subscribing, and uh, being active in the comment section is always appreciated. A couple companies that support me and the things I do here, Howitzer, Brownells, and Hold Up Display. Hold Up Display makes these amazing racks in the vault room. Howitzer is a clothing brand that donates 5% of proceeds to charity, and they've done a ton of donations and a lot for the community and make awesome shirts. They also, they also collaborated with me on my own t-shirt. If you guys want to check those out, there's a link in the description in Brownells. Use code TA10 to save 10% off orders $150 or more. Highly recommend you take a advantage of that because you can save a lot of money and thank you guys so much definitely take a look at the rcr if you'd like to and uh stay tuned for more videos on these